Okay, so uh, today, uh, good, uh, good morning. So we are going to see uh, how to record the scripts in JMeter and how to do performance testing for our own site and how to run uh, with the help of batch file and with Windows 21. So this is the topic we are going to see in the uh, next two videos. So first we will see how to uh, write, um, record the uh, right step, okay? For that first we should download the Apache JMeter, okay? So Apache JMeter should be downloaded. For that, we'll click the first thing. Then we go to that and we'll download the Apache JMeter 5.4.1 zip. And uh, this should be downloaded. Already we have in a machine, so we are not downloading it. So when you are downloading, try make sure you are uh, downloading the zip one, not the, uh, right. We should download the zip one. Okay, can we go to the folder, please? Yeah. Okay. So after that, we should navigate to the folder, right? Uh, uh, Apache JMeter 5.1 zip folder. We should unzip it. Then this folder will come. Then we are going to that folder. And we'll go to the folder and we'll go to the bin folder. And we'll have Apache JMeter.jar. If you open, click it, and the JMeter tool will get open. Okay, so this is the tool. Uh, right, uh, it's where right uh, we are going to record our scripts, right? And we are going to execute our scripts. Suppose I want to check for one user, right? I want to check for 100 users, like right? 1,000 users. This is uh, will uh, depend upon the uh, right uh, the, the business, right? What the, uh, the team is expecting you to do, right? What is the expectation? Based on the expectation, we are going to right, record the steps, right? So this is what we do right here uh, uh, in the chain meter. First, we should record it. Uh, in this video, we'll see how to record with the blaze meter. We can also run through HTTP script recorder that we'll see in the next videos. Uh, now we'll see with the how to run with the Blaze Meter plugin. Okay, for that we should go to Google. Uh, we should type Blaze Meter. Blaze Meter Chrome extension. Blaze Meter plugin. Click it and right we should click the first one. So this is the tool, right? Uh, plugin should be installed, it should be added to your Chrome. So we already did, uh, so it's uh, not like we are on uh, doing that. So you make sure that you're adding this plugin in your Chrome browser. And after that, and doing that, you should go to the place meter. First, you should sign up, right? Already I signed up. If you have opened, right? Uh, it will ask for login or sign up. If you go sign up, you enter your first name, last name, uh, email address and click OK, then it will get signed up to the place meter too, okay? So for that, what we'll do is, first, we are, what we'll do is we'll create test, okay? Uh, for that, we are using one site, travel management site, right? Go on personal site, see to <coughs> So <coughs> our company has changed test automation and short form it's called as C2TA, <coughs> C2TA. <coughs> so we have our own site, C2TA, okay? Where <coughs> we can go to the site. No. Now, first, what we'll do is uh, we I just we hit the URL now. Okay. Now, what we're doing is we are going to record the steps. Okay. Um, first, we'll go to home. Then we'll go to trip types, add step. Then we are going to uh, go and see the trip types and go and click adventure. Then we are going to uh, see right different uh, right places and we are going to see click view details. Then we are going to see uh, click uh, overview of that uh, particular one. Then we are going to click itinerary. Then we are going to see, then click the overview. Okay. Uh, then we are going uh, back to another, uh, right? We are going to our apartments. We are going to search the apartments. View details. Right, Larry, we're going to search it, right, overview. Then we are coming back 
to dissemination. Okay, now we are going and searching a destination, clicking a particular destination. And we are observing all the like destination, different destinations. Okay, then we are going to click view details. Okay, next, now, now what we are going to do is we are going to add one uh, right scenario here, check functional, check availability. Add it. Now we are going to check the availability. Select a particular date. Click continue. And we are going to add uh, right, the others, how many passengers, child. And we are going to click proceed to checkout. Okay. Now, right, then we are going to add building details. So these are the scenarios which we are going to run this particular step. Okay. Filling details, add step. I'm just right, entering the building details. Now, now we are just checking the checkbox. Uh, I, I agree, checkbox. And I click book now. Okay, these are the scenarios we are just uh, right, uh, uh, recorded now. We'll run this in the J meter step. Okay. Now we'll stop the uh, recording. Then again, we'll go to the Blaze Meter plugin. We'll save that. And it should be JMS file, right? Uh, so we'll there and we can see the domain code in, and we are saving that one. Okay. Now we have added the JMeter, uh, JMS file that uh, downloaded and then we'll go to the Apache chain meter now. Okay, now what it is, we'll go to file, go to open. We're just uh, uploading the recorded script. Okay, so now we are going and searching that particular uh, right. Okay, now we click open. Now we can see, right? that the correct script has been right it's displayed here okay test types uh, right uh, trip types destination check availability and being this first what we do is we'll go to thread group and we'll see how many users we are going to uh, run right we are just uh, running to one user so after this one we'll add uh, like 10 users okay so now first right uh, we'll add a uh, uh, listener right this is for results right we are going to see the results View results free. This is what we are going to add here. Now, what we do is, all right, uh, we set it a thread group, how many users. Now we'll run this and we'll see, uh, right, what is the, how it responds. Okay. For that, you can click the play button, right, uh, uh, start button. And we can go and click the view results free. I was executing. You can see the status right green color is passed. I was executing. So it will check all the run, include all the scenarios which you record.
Yeah, it's executing slowly. So all the right according to the correct steps actually. So you have, you have all the tests, if you observe, right, all the test is passing now. So it's checking all the links, whatever, which links if we click. So it's testing that and it is giving you the result. So this is one way of recording. We can do with another way, uh, uh, view uh, results. Mm. I mean, this is also another way uh, we can do it. Okay. So now uh, fetching the results, just a, just a second, right? Then. Okay, now it's executed actually. Now, so you see, we run for one user. Suppose I want to run for five users. Right? There is a scenario, right? I can run for five users, right? I can run for 100 users, right? Or I can run for 1,000 users, right? Uh, so this, uh, right, uh, this also, right, we can set uh, based on the uh, demand, okay? So this is the, how we record and we uh, run the results, okay? So now suppose, right, I want to run for example, right, by users. There's a scenario, right? I want to run for five users. I'll go, go and clean up the, uh, uh, the results and I'll again run. Now it's executed for five users. The test will run five times, then we'll move to the next one. <coughs> so each scenario will execute five times, then right, it will move to the for the five different users, right? Then it will move. Okay, now it's running, right? Five five users is running. If you observe, right, it's been a result thing. Like that, you can run for hundred users or thousand users uh, based on the uh, right uh, requirement. The what is the business is asking about? So you can as a, so normally, right? In my in my on our projects, they'll give you scenarios. Uh, what are the scenarios you should automate? Okay, then uh, they will tell you this many users for first phase. You need I need to test in like. Uh, 10 users, second phase I need to test in 100 users, third phase I need to test in 1000 users, like that they will give the scenarios and give they, they'll give the, um, uh, right, how many users also, based on that we can record this thing, okay. So as initially told you, we can run through base meter or different, also different, uh, right, we can run with the HTTP script recorder also. So next video we'll see how to run with the HTTP uh, script recorder. Uh, next video, we'll see how to run this, uh, convert this JMX uh, uh, into batch file, right? And we'll run that through command prompt. Uh, then uh, we'll uh, schedule a task scheduler. Like, for example, I want to run in a particular time. Uh, that also can be executed. So the, the, and, uh, we'll see how to log in, uh, do parameterization uh, with uh, like particular, let's suppose login and uh, site, right? How to do parameterization, that also we can see, right? In the next video, okay? Thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, uh, join again in the next video.